This week I was um, in Puerto Lindo at Anchor and uh, it was a new experience to be out of the marina and actually finally be living at Anchor. And it was beautiful because it was a mixture of um, just enjoying the life here and doing some work. This is Leo and he's helping me today to build my mast steps. And he's already built a couple of uh, Reinke cascos himself so I have a pro here which is awesome. And um, well I asked him the other day where he got his mast steps from and he told me that he did them by himself. And now finally we're here and he's helping me to get my own ones. Now we have to smooth the edges a little bit and then we have to put it into its uh, into its form. And it was awesome, it was really cool. I'd never done it before and it was really amazing to to produce them and well to mount them obviously because you know you're up in the mast and it was it was pretty cool. Um I really like the, the little village of Puerto Lino. There's not much you can do but there's um you know, people are really friendly as long as you're very, you know, you, you always have to be the first one to say, hola, buenas. But if you do and if you, you know, if you come up to them in a, in a um, uh, friendly, with a friendly attitude, they usually open up and they're, you know, friendly to you. Um, and there's a, a small restaurant, well, restaurant, actually, basically you, you eat in the front porch of uh, her house. Uh, there's one chair. And um, she does like hamburguesas, like hamburgers and chuleta, which is uh, pork chops with fries. Um, or you can bring her, if you catch something like a fish or lobster, she will prepare it for you as well. And they've got a whole bunch of kids and, and grandchildren. Uh, one of them, Rebecca, she's really crazy. She's a, a very, very lively girl. And uh, But it's nice because if you go there, you know, two, three times and they know you and they kind of open up and you know, they gave me some mangoes and I played with Rebecca a little bit. I helped them with a little bit of school work because they had to translate something, some English, uh, Spanish stuff. So, you know, you kind of, you kind of have the feeling that at least you're connecting a little bit to the country that you're living in, which is uh, beautiful. Now there's an old lady that I, that I buy 
my little frozen juice from every morning. Um, she's awesome. She, she's, I don't think she's got any teeth. Um, and well, you know, we just talk and about, mostly we talk about, oh, okay, the rain, the rain, there's no electricity, there's no water, you know, oh, is the water back on? No. Is the electricity back on? No. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's, that's like the most important stuff here to talk about because of the rain, you know, in the rainy season when there's so much rain coming down, um, the lines, like either the pipes of the water or the, you know, the, the mast for the signal of the internet or the lines for electricity, they, they just get washed away, they just, you know, and it takes like a couple of days to fix it. But, you know, that's, uh, that's the things you have to worry about here. <laughs> well, um, I think that's about it. There's not really much going on. Um, just enjoying life. And um, I'll see you next week. Bye.